Hey everyone, I'm Nadine here with Gizmo China and welcome back to another video. So in 2019, Xiaomi released their smartphone lineups into two different brands or two brands, the Xiaomi brand and the Redmi brand. Yep, so we are talking about their latest models, the Xiaomi CC9 Pro and the Redmi K30. The CC series focuses on camera performance while the Redmi K series were known as high performance in all dimensions. Though the latest Redmi K30 did not include the Pro model, but both the K30 and CC9 Pro took great effort on building their camera sets. The K30 equipped the latest Sony IMX686 sensor, which will be a major selection for the upcoming 2020 flagship models while the CC9 Pro has a 108 megapixel Samsung camera, which is the only mobile camera sensor features over a 100 megapixel resolution. And the K30 has a four camera setup, while the CC9 Pro is surprisingly equipped with a five camera combination. So we're pretty curious about which camera combinations work well in daily use. So in this video, we're going to compare these two models and find out what makes them different from each other. Let's look at their camera combinations. On the back of the Redmi K30, there is a 64 megapixel primary camera with the Sony IMX686 sensor, a 2 megapixel depth camera, an 8 megapixel wide angle camera, and another 2 megapixel macro camera. For the CC9 Pro, the top one is a 10 times hybrid optical telephoto camera, following with a 12 megapixel portrait camera, a 100 megapixel primary camera, a 20 megapixel super wide angle camera, and another macro camera. So, from their specs, the CC9 Pro is more like a mobile camera model that uses all the best cameras to cover all the usage scenarios. And the highlight of the K30 is more focused on the debut of IMX686, the upgraded IMX586 sensor. Let's talk about the photos shot by their primary cameras. From the samples, we found that the samples of the Redmi K30 have pretty true color reproduction. Though it got a bit blurred for noise reduction, the 64 megapixel IMX686 still provides great resolution and reserves rich detail. While the samples from the CC9 Pro reached a pure image with a cooler color representation and a relatively higher saturation. If we turn the Auto HDR on both models, samples shot by the CC9 Pro looks more emotional. As for the wide angle camera, we have to notice the fact that the CC9 Pro equipped with a 20 megapixel sensor, which imposes higher costs and theoretically would lead the race in this part. Well, the results did prove a gap between these two models. For wide angle photos of the K30, a problem is the poor noise control, even as we shot it under good light conditions. And due to the eight megapixel resolution, it's not as detailed as a photo shot by the CC9 Pro. It's no doubt that the 20 megapixel resolution on the CC9 Pro is much better for producing pure images with vivid colors and high image quality. But there's still an undeniable fact that both the K30 and the CC9 Pro have varying degrees of purple fringing levels. There is another macro camera on both the CC9 Pro and K30, which could shoot super close subjects at around 2 cm. From the samples, we could see there is not an obvious gap between them when we use them to shoot such small objects and close up such as small plants. Xiaomi claims that the CC9 Pro can reach up to 50 times an optical hybrid zoom in, while there is no telephoto camera on the K30. So theoretically speaking, the zoom in photo shot by the K30 is just the image cut from the original photo, which is shot by the primary camera. Since 2018, almost all smartphone brands have been working to improve their night shooting. So now in this day and age, it's become one of the most important features to review smartphone cameras. At first glance, the K30's night performance is more impressive, not just because it has a more balanced image brightness, but also because it has a better noise control in the darkness. But speaking of detail, thanks to the 108 megapixel resolution, 
the CC9 Pro still took a lead in reserving rich information. Talking about the high resolution, these two models are equipped with top level sensors. Although the CC9 Pro is amazingly adapted with the uh, 108 megapixel resolution, the 64 megapixel IMX686 sensor did not fall short. From their high resolution photos, there's no remarkable gap between them. However, we found it's more diverse on their software tuning, including color style and image pureness and no doubt that these two sensors will be the main choices for most 2020's flagship phones. So that was our review of the cameras of these two phones. If you have anything that you'd like to share about your experience with the phones, either one of them that you've had, please do leave it in the comments below. And so we've come to an end. Hope you enjoyed the video. We hope to see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and hope to see you next time. This is Gizmo China.